Hey guys, ZeroTech00 here, and today in this video, we are gonna test the Sophos Antivirus vs the Mems Trojan as you guys can see here. So with that, I guess we are gonna get into the first test. Okay guys, so as you guys can see, we have all the protections activated on the Sophos Antivirus. This is the first test as you guys know, and as I said before. So guys, I'm gonna run the Mems malware with all the protections on on the Sophos antivirus as we can see here. I'm gonna run the men's malware, I mean Trojan, in 3, 2, and 1. And as you guys can see, the Sophos antivirus has detected and stopped the men's Trojan from infecting the system. Here we also have the notification in which it tells us that the men's Trojan has got removed as we can see here, detected and removed. So with that guys, we can get further into the second test. Okay guys, so for the second test, I'm gonna run the MEMS malware, but this time guys, I'm gonna do it with the malicious traffic detection off. I'm gonna reactivate this protection and I'm gonna deactivate just this protection as you guys can see. So I'm gonna run the MEMS malware, I mean Trojan as I said before, with this protection off only. And now I'm waiting for the Sophos antivirus to update itself because yeah, it somehow works to my browser it's a bit weird the way this antivirus works but it does work and very very odd it says here that this thing is enabled even though it's disabled here but anyways guys i'm still gonna run the mems trojan for the second test so let's run the mems trojan in 3 2 1 and as you guys can see again the mems trojan has got detected and stopped by the Sophos uh, antivirus as we can see here it got deleted now I'm not sure if if the Sophos antivirus still had this protection on because once again as you guys can see here it's off but here it says that it's on anyways the thing is that it, it detected the Trojan the Mems Trojan so with that guys let's get further into the third test okay guys so for the third test as you guys can see we have the real time protection deactivated and unfortunately guys i can't reactivate its secondary main protection because it doesn't allow me to unless i activate this protection then i can deactivate this one or activate this one but yeah otherwise i can do it but i'm just gonna hope that this AI machine learning protection and MSI protection will be able to somehow protect my system from being infected even, even though I think it's not gonna work let's still put our hopes that it's somewhat hopefully gonna work so yeah guys I'm gonna run the MEMS Trojan for the third time with these two protections off so yeah let's do that now in 3, 2 and 1 and okay as we guys can see the MEMS a uh, window has opened which is not a good sign and I think we are gonna be oh what a tank intercepted okay I wasn't expecting that so as well as you can see okay uh, wait oh, okay so as you guys can see the Sophos antivirus did took action I wasn't expecting that at all guys but there we go uh, wow I really honestly I really wasn't expecting that great job uh, so folks, I'm really shocked that you did that, honestly. Okay, let's see the advanced... Nah, I'm definitely not gonna unblock this thing. So with that guys, we are not gonna proceed any further, but instead we are gonna do a scan. Hopefully we have a quick scan option, and then we are gonna do a restart to see if the system is affected or not. So yeah, for now, let's do the quick scan. Okay guys, so as we can see the scan has finished, it wasn't a quick scan, it did took some time like 5 minutes I think, 6 minutes, but still the scan has been done. And as we can see guys, this is the MEMS Trojan which uh, got cleaned aka removed as we can see here, so great job once again Sophos. Now let's do the final restart and see if the system is fine or not, and then take the conclusion. And as well as you can see, the system has booted up just fine. Let's check Task Manager as well to see if we have any malware running in background and stuff from the Mestrojan. And as well as you can see, the system is 
all right yeah those cmds uh, boxes that work there uh, aren't related to the main trojan they are related from windows activation stuff so yeah anyways as you guys can see the system is all right there isn't any signs of infection going on everything seems to be fine this is the sofos antivirus stuff so don't worry about that but yeah guys as we can see there is no signs of infection these things are from system 32 yep so those are not malware and stuff this is something windows related yeah anyways so yeah there we go guys everything seems to be fine and yeah thank you guys for watching this video as a conclusion the software's antivirus isn't so bad after all, it really managed to protect our system from a pretty dangerous Trojan as we have seen the main Trojan. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing words, it's because, I mean mispronouncing, I mean that sometimes I'm stuttering when I say some words, it's because some of them are pretty hard to pronounce, but yeah guys, it doesn't matter, just uh, the conclusion, and just know guys, be careful, keep your antivirus on, don't, don't deactivate it, antivirus. Uh, Keep it on if you have sofos kaspersky a vast whatever just keep your antivirus on and don't pirate things from the internet buy buy the software buy the games don't pirate because it's not worth it it's super risky and you can eventually uh, get infected if you browse a website that is not trustworthy so that's all guys thank you guys for watching this video i'm gonna see you guys with new videos in the future and thanks for watching bye bye